Hello, Madison Kirkman here. I'm going to show the proper method to trimming and tuning a center draft wick. Uh, some people like to cut the wick straight across when it's flat and new uh, before it's installed in the lamp, but uh, no matter what you do, that's not going to be even. Uh, so you do have to do some tuning in the lamp itself. I'm going to go ahead and disassemble and show some of the components here. You have the chimney, of course. You have the flame spreader. This is the original flame spreader to this lamp. It's an original Ed Miller, number two. You have the gallery, which holds the chimney. That comes apart. You have a bayonet style burner body. Bayonet style is not threaded. It has two little pins or three pins, and those just lock it into place. You have a wick, a wick carrier, which slides up and down the tube with the wick. And on this lamp, you have a thumb wheel that adjusts the carrier. That, of course, adjusts the wick. I'm going to reassemble this. I'm going to put the flame spreader back on. And to do the uh, tuning, I actually, this, this wick was tuned before, and I messed it up on purpose just to show this video. Um, this wick is not even, and that's exactly what I'm going to show how to fix. I'm going to go ahead and put the chimney back on. One of the original uh, aspects, properties of this lamp, the way they designed this, you could rotate and lock this in the open position and light it with a match without taking the chimney off, which was quite nice in some instances. Okay, so now I should have the wick just above the wick tube. I believe it's good. We're going to find out here in a second. Okay, looks good. We'll let it go ahead and uh, spread across the entire wick itself, and we'll watch for high spots and low spots. Particularly right here, there's a high spot. There's another high spot there with a kind of a dead spot in between. This is nice and even, but it's also lower than the rest. So like a haircut, we're going to take off the tops of the wick and uh, try and make it as even as possible. We're going to go ahead and turn it off, make sure the, the chimney isn't too hot. I only ran it here for a few seconds, so it's not that bad. I'm going to take the gallery off and the flame spreader, which may also be hot. I have a paper towel here to wipe my hands off. Uh, in normal operation, carbon will build up a little bit here and there. Uh, just make sure it's not too excessive. So putting this just above the wick tube itself, which is of course the tube that the wick carries itself in, travels in. I'm going to look more level to the wick, down at eye level. And I'm going to take down some of the high spots with a pair of fairly sharp scissors. Um, this is the preliminary tune. The final tune actually requires that you rotate in a circle with your finger and uh, uh, even out, you know, maybe you'll rub your finger in the high spots, maybe take those down. Um, the charring on the wick is not bad as long as it's minimal charring. It should be, it should be about this level here. That's good for a center draft wick lamp. Some people turn the wick up way too high and if you have visible smoke coming off your lamp, that means you're, you're producing carbon monoxide, and that's when you're burning the cotton and not the fuel itself. So a little bit of char is good. A little bit of char is normal. I'm gonna go ahead and take some of the high spots off. Some of the stray hairs, if there are any. Mostly doing all this cutting flat to the wick. Uh, we'll rub that one area down. Okay, I think this is going to be fairly good. Let's go ahead and do one test run with it trimmed. Install all the components. Don't forget you do need a flame spreader, a proper flame spreader for this to work. If you do not have a flame spreader and everything else, it will not burn correctly. So I'll go ahead and light it a second time just to see uh, if I made any progress here. Hopefully I did. Okay, we're gonna let that, let that go. This looks pretty even. This is looking pretty good. There's high spots and low spots still, but uh, the differences are no more. The extreme low and the extreme high is about oh, no more than eighth of an inch, maybe three sixteenths. 
I'm going to go ahead and turn it off again. Flame spreader back out again. Could be hot, so just be careful. And I have it just barely visible above the top of the wick tube. I'm going to go ahead and rub it with my finger. Always choose one direction. Don't go in two directions. Uh, my standard is clockwise. So if I ever have to do a lamp a second time in the future, I know not to mess it up. Okay, so looking at it level, this looks pretty darn even. Now this method works on pretty much all center draft and even some side draft lamps as long as they're round wick. Flat wick lamps are a lot easier to handle. That's just a simple trim. Uh, sometimes you have to reshape the cone, but uh, We'll leave that for another video. Uh, this method works on center draft lighthouse lamps, center draft locomotive lamps, table lamps, wall lamps. As long as they have a round wick, this is a pretty darn good method to getting an even flame. So I think this will be the final tune right here. I think this is looking pretty good. We'll go ahead and lock that back up and light it. Okay, so now that looks even better. And uh, of course, this side has been running for about 10 seconds more than the other side. Uh, but after 30, 40 seconds of it running, you can look at it at eye level. Now the differences are very minimal. Uh, I am happy with that. And that is the basic run over of how to trim and tune a center draft lamp wick. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me. Uh, I represent WT Kirkman Lanterns. We do a lot of different uh, antique and modern oil and electric lamp and lantern uh, products. Uh, and uh, one of my favorite pastimes is antique lamps like these. This is one from my personal collection. So uh, thank you for watching my video. And uh, I do plan on doing some other videos here in the future of different uh, projects and things like this. Uh, requirements to operating an oil lamp or lantern. Thank you very much.